Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I'm back. So today's reading is going to be, what are my person's intentions? Okay, um, so basically what are they planning to do about me and this um, situation that we're in? Okay, so we are going to have five options today. Um, number one is going to be this citrine, allegedly it's citrine, um, I don't think it actually is, but my best friend gave it to me and that's what they told him it was, so, anyway, number two is going to be aventurine, number three is fluorite, Number four is going to be this um, rainbow quartz situation. And number five is going to be rose quartz. Okay, guys. So make your choices. Take a minute. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes and just kind of allow your intuition to lead you. Reminder, the Valentine's Day sale is going on, so you can get 30% off any reading from me between now and um, through February 14th, so hop on that before it ends. Um, also, I want to thank you guys so much for getting me to 3,000 subscribers. Very exciting. And also, if you guys have any suggestions or requests for future um, general readings, please, please, please let me know. I'd love to um, hear what you guys come up with. And yeah, I think we are going to get started now with um, group number one. All right, so group number one, if you chose the um, citrine stone, what are your person's intentions for you? I'm doing this a little bit differently today, I think. I think I'm going to shuffle um, on camera, which I don't normally do, just because I find it really boring <laughs> watching other people shuffle. So I, you know, I normally just skip it. But today I'm feeling like I should do this. So. And then people in the comments can complain about the method. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All right, so what I'm seeing here this is somebody who definitely wants some changes to happen. Okay, because very first card that came out was the Eight of Wands, which this card talks about change, action. It's also a card of communication. So if you are don't have very much contact with this person, I feel like that's going to change. Um, also, we have the Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. So. The Seven of Swords, this is a card that typically talks about deception. Um, so there could be something that this person, whoever it is you're thinking about, has kept a secret from you, or um, it could also be that they 
And it's, it, okay, so it's not necessarily a bad thing. Just because somebody is hiding something from you, it doesn't mean that, you know, the thing that they're hiding is something huge and major and horrible. Um, it could be something really benign, which I feel like in this case, it probably is. It doesn't feel like anything really heavy is um, going on here, at least as far as this is concerned. Um, but I'm also feeling like there is a situation in their life. I don't think it is involving you, but there is some situation in their life that they are um, moving away from or wanting to move away from with this Eight of Cups. And it feels like, feels like they are on the brink of making a decision or they already have, maybe, because we've got the two of wands down here, and sometimes, you know, this is like a decision that's already been made. So they're either about to make a decision, or they already have made a decision, and it has to do with this Three of Pentacles, which Three of Pentacles, to me, is a card that is about teamwork, okay? especially in terms of like relationships this card always makes me think of um you know somebody or i should say two people like laying down the foundation upon which something can be built upon right so upon which something can be built upon that's that's a good sentence right there um anyway <laughs> So we've got the Ace of Wands here underneath of the Eight. So it really feels like um, this person wants to start a new phase, like with you, like in terms of your relationship, your connection together. It feels like they want to come in and kind of make you an offer, like to start over in a way. Um, and also, with the Ace of Pentacles here, underneath of the Seven of Swords, I feel like this is, um, I feel like this deception or, you know, whatever it is that they have kept hidden from you is like, I feel like it, it could have to do with their job. Um, they could be hiding that they are not as financially well off as they maybe led you to believe, or they could be hiding that they lost their job or they never had a job or something like that. Um, and then this five of wands, it's like there's something in their life, there's some kind of conflict in their life that they're planning to move away from, or they're in the process of moving away from. So I'm going to pull out some clarifying cards because I feel like we definitely do not have the full story on this. So which deck do I want to use for that? I think I'm going to use this one. This is the Angel Answers Oracle. Let's see. Other messages do you have for us for this particular we've got compromise Whoa. we've got no with an exclamation point we have helpful people and we have a year from now okay Honeymoon, we've got engagement, heart to heart conversations, love yourself first. 
Okay. Um, let's see. So with the honeymoon card, this is kind of going along with this eight of cups. This is like whatever situation is going on in their life that they're not happy about. This is them like hopping in a boat and floating away from it. Um, that's pretty much all, of, all that that card is telling me. Um, it feels like this is something that hasn't happened yet. They, you know, this, um, this walking away is still something that they are planning to do, that they want to do, that they're intending to do. Okay. So let's see. We've got heart to heart conversations here, which this is going along with this eight of pent, uh, eight of wands. So definitely there is something that this person is wanting to communicate to you. Okay. Um, and, you know, like I said, I think it has to do with this Ace of Wands energy. Like, they definitely want to start something over. Um, I, I, it feels to me like they would like to have another chance. Because it, it kind of feels like this person... I'm not sure whether or not they actually screwed up in the past. But I kind of get the sense that they feel as if they did. Because um, we have the Compromise card. So... For some of you guys, it feels like they want to come towards you. They want, you know, they want another chance and they want an opportunity to compromise with you and kind of wipe the slate clean. You know what I'm saying? We also have the engagement card and we have the full card as the potential outcome. So <clears throat> the full card is, you know, it's like these aces here it's a new beginning okay it is the first card in the major arcana so it is the beginning of a brand new thing um and then we also have engagement and it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so what i'm getting here is that your person um i i think that they their intention is to approach you with an offer to kind of start again right? Um, and it feels like they want to actually make an effort to be serious about it. It feels like in the past they weren't serious about it or they weren't able to be serious about it because of something that was going on in their life. Um, this person definitely feels like they are very, um, They feel very, I want to say they feel defined by their success. So it could have to do with like their work situation. Like they, um, the fact that they were not feeling successful in their career or, you know, the fact that they were not making money or the fact that they lost their job or whatever kind of impacted their confidence in this situation. Um, and it, you know, that could have been, that could be the five of wands energy, but I feel like there's also something else um, that this is being indicated by. Um, yeah, they are different. This work thing and this five of wands thing is different. And this note card is in relation to this. So let's see, what's that all about? I feel like for a lot of you guys, the person that you're thinking about um, has kind of, they're breaking free of somebody from their past. Like, I feel like for, I feel like for a lot of these people, they were, um, they were still kind of involved with an ex, not like romantically, but kind of like by necessity for some of you, um, could have been that they were like in the middle of like getting divorced or that they have like children together or something. There was something that was, um, like forcing this person to, to be in 
touch with their with an ex of theirs or something um and now it's like they're moving away from that because i feel like they um they finally kind of i want to say for a lot of you they finally like worked up the courage or they have taken care of whatever business that was still unsettled between them to so that they can walk away from them now walk away from this ex or it doesn't necessarily have to be an ex partner of theirs but it, it feels like that for a lot of you guys um so that is something that they if they're not doing that already that's what they're planning to do um and then we also have this helpful people card which i'm not really sure what this is talking about so i'm going to get some clarifiers for that why is okay why is helpful people here you have the king of wands for a lot of you guys i feel like you're dealing with a fire sign or you could be a fire sign but there's a lot of wands here um, judgment. Whoa. Three of Swords, King of Swords, mm, Page of Wands. Okay. So I feel like in the past, it feels as if you, it feels like there was some conflict between you and this person in the past, because um, we've got the Three of Swords here, and we also have Judgment, which is, you know, in this case, I feel like it is kind of in an awakening moment that your person has had. Um, where they realized that they need to do something. They need to change something. Something's got to give because like they want you in their life and they, they want to do it right. You know what I'm saying? So it could be that you found out about like, okay, I'm hearing that a lot of you guys just felt like this person wasn't taking you seriously. They could have been flaky. Um, they could have been really in and out. But I feel like they have, like I said, they've had kind of an awakening moment. And they've realized that they've got to leave some stuff behind so that they can come to you and give you, you know, what you deserve something serious right something more serious something brand new something that um they need to bring you the truth okay king of swords is really a truth teller for me okay so whenever i see this card i see like clarity i see honesty i see somebody who speaks their truth um in a very rational kind of way, right? They're not super um, in their emotions. So, and then we've also got the Page of Wands. So pages are messengers. So this is another card that is telling me that they definitely want to communicate some things to you. Um, and it could be that they, I think this card possibly is just saying that they have sought out um, opinions from other people um, in relation to like what they should do about this situation um, and then this king of wands I feel I feel like this is representing this person that you're asking about um, they are they're wanting to come towards you as this page but ultimately they want to come into this um more like king energy this more mature more developed um kind of energy that is more stable and 
less um less juvenile, right? <laughs> Cuz it feels like um some of you guys have kind of uh some of you guys kind of had it with this person because you felt like they were just being immature, right? And I feel like this person has um developed some self-respect. We've got love yourself first and it says your self-respect makes you more attractive. So I feel like this person maybe struggled with self-respect in the past, but they have been working on developing that. And um, I think that they definitely they definitely want to approach you and I feel like they do, they want to apologize to you for something, for whatever has happened in the past and, you know, they want to make, they want to compromise with you. They want another chance. They want to build something with you that will be, um, they, they want to have stability, right? And ultimately, they want a new beginning, a new start. Because this is the outcome, potential outcome, right? Um, so yeah, that's um, those are their intentions, I think. I think that's what they're planning on doing. They're uh, definitely going to be communicating with you. They're definitely going to be moving away from something that's not serving them. They're definitely wanting to um, make the decision to build with you and they're gonna be um they're really thinking about <laughs> coming clean to you about something and like i said these two things i think are different um but this thing this thing that's being represented here by the seven of swords and the ace of pentacles it doesn't feel like it's anything major okay it just feels like something that like maybe it started off as like a little white lie and then it kind of built and, and got bigger and bigger and bigger and now they're like oh shit I gotta, I gotta say something about that. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Um, and then finally we've got a year from now. So what is this card saying? A year from now. I don't think it's going to take a year for you to hear from this person, right? I feel like that's going to be coming in faster than that because eight of wands is like rapid change okay what is the year from now here for we got the three of wands and the knight of swords so the knight of swords is another card that for me indicates communication um, and honesty and insight. And then the three of wands is kind of like waiting for the right time to come to do something. And it's also a card that's about planning ahead for the future. So, you know, it could be a year from now, this person will finally, um, you know, lay it all out for you and give you all of the clarity that they want to give you. However, I feel like you will hear from them, you know, it's, it's not going to take you a year to hear from this person, I don't think. But it could be like when they come back around, it could be like a slow progression. You know what I'm saying? It may take them some time to actually get to a point where, you know, they have fully moved away from this situation and they are fully ready to, you know, tell you the truth about whatever this is and fully ready to, you know, be serious and commit. Okay. So I think that's what this is saying. All right. Group number one, that's your reading. That is... Wait a minute, we've also got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Did I talk about this one? I can't remember if I talked about this one. Anyway, yeah, communication, definitely incoming, okay? Um, you're going to have an opportunity to, like, really um, figure this, you know, really 
um, get some uh, answers about what's been going on with this person, because I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of confused by this individual, and that's understandable, because, you know, it, it really feels like they, um, they've been kind of closed off in a way, like they, they haven't, uh, they haven't been very forthcoming about like the details of their life and stuff and and that's because they didn't they didn't want you to know right um but they've they've realized now that you know they have to they have to be honest right they have to be truthful from the get-go or else you know these problems are just going to get worse so that's what they're working on doing and um those are their intentions okay Group number one, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated with you. Um, if you want to leave me a comment, feel free to do so. And like I said at the beginning, if you have any suggestions or requests for future readings, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number two. All right, group number two, if you chose Aventurine, what are your person's intentions? What are they planning to do in relation to your connection? So, um, I'm doing this a little differently today. I am shuffling on camera, which I normally don't do because I think it is very boring to watch. Um, but some people like to see it. And also, I just felt like I needed to do, th do it this way today. Um, so that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> um, okay, so we got the Justice card. Let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have Judgment. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Can I get a clarifier, please, for the Justice card? Why is Justice here? Death. Some change is happening. Some kind of transformations, awakenings happening with this person, I think. Two of Pentacles. of pentacles and eight of swords okay and can I get one card for the potential outcome oh I asked for one card because group one had the full as the outcome too. So, new starts happening. However, the energy here is pretty different. Um, okay. So, with the Justice card, I feel like um, somebody has uh, justice and judgment being here, I feel like there's definitely um, an apology that they want to make to you. Okay. And also, I'm getting a feeling of balance. Okay, because we have the two of pentacles here, which this card indicates balance, right? Um, and also justice, which in... Uh, the traditional tarot, the justice is holding um, scales, usually. So that's another um, balance, you know, kind of energy. So, so there's um, there's balance here being a theme, and there's also a theme here of transformations that I'm seeing, with judgment and death. Okay, so your person's intentions towards you or towards this connection that you have um 
I'm going to pull out a couple of Oracle cards because I feel like there's a lot going on here. Romantic cycle begins. Okay. Oh, and look. Scales. More balance and more um, transformation. This is talking about a cycle ending so that a new one can begin, which is exactly what death talks about. about these before we move any further um it feels as if your person that you're thinking about um really uh they're trying to find balance in their life in it could be any number of ways but i feel like especially in terms of relationships they are trying to find new balance in their life this, I think, is someone who has struggled in the past with communication, being open and honest about their feelings, about their wants, about their needs. And I feel like this is somebody who, in the past, has never really had their needs adequately met in terms of relationships. And... Or, that could be you. And that's, I'm just kind of picking that energy up, but, you know, how take, take it however it um, resonates for you, but somebody I feel in this situation has always kind of just taken a back seat to whatever their partner wanted, okay? So, in terms of this connection specifically, there is definitely a transformation happening. Something... I feel like for a lot of you guys, this could be an actual X, okay? Um, and it, whatever it was, whatever it was, I mean, whatever the nature of your relationship actually was, it ended, right, with the death card being here um and it ended i think because there was a lack of balance right somebody's needs uh weren't being net met probably because they couldn't communicate what they needed or wanted right or how they felt um so it just kind of broke apart that's what i'm feeling here um but this person's intentions are pretty clear to me we have the eight of pentacles with the two of pentacles the eight of pentacles this card is about work okay this is the card of work 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 um you can see in this picture it's a spider in a web and it's this spider has built this very intricate web which takes a lot of work for a little spider right so that's kind of the energy that this person is in they're in this energy of making the effort putting in the work you know they're ready to sweat okay they're they're ready to roll their sleeves up and get down to it um they're uh i feel like they're trying to find balance within themselves in a lot of ways what they want is a new uh a new beginning right Presumably with you because, you know, we're asking about their intentions for your connection together. So I feel like this person is learning to open up or trying to learn to open up. And, you know, their plan is like they want to... 
they want your relationship together to transform with them um, for the better. So I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna pull out clarifiers now for these four cards. Okay, um, I mean, the Judgment card is a card about awakening, okay, rebirth and renewal, and then the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning as well, so, um, I mean, it feels pretty obvious that this person intends to, or their plan is, you know, to, uh, start a new, have a new start. We've got a new start is coming, the new moon card. Um, so yeah, I, I think their plans definitely are to, I think they have something that they want to apologize to you for. Um, but they definitely, I feel like this person is changing and they want the connection that you have to change as well. Um, because it feels like in the past, it maybe wasn't super healthy for, for whatever reason, because like, you know, like I said, it felt like somebody wasn't having their needs met. Somebody wasn't getting what they should have been getting. Um, but now this person is ready to put in the work to make those changes and to balance things out. This could also be talking about balance between the two of you, okay? Could have been just an unbalanced relationship in general. Um, imbalance of power, uh, something like that. So... It feels like what this person wants to do is, you know, make that effort to create balance and start over again. Um, and then we also have, this card also fell out, which is nothing is yet set in stone. So what this card talks about actually is that, um, you know, free will is really the deciding factor in everything. So you know, nothing is ever guaranteed to happen because every person has free will and the changes that you make or the choices that you make um, change the future outcomes, right? So I feel like this is just kind of a reminder that, you know, you may have expectations for this. They may or may not come true. Okay, I feel like that's what that card is saying. Um, because, okay, I'm, I'm seeing like a, I'm seeing like a duality kind of thing. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So both of these cards are actually kind of similar. The Nine of Pentacles talks about independence. The Eight of Swords talks about isolation. So it's kind of like another version of independence, but like a negative version of independence. You know what I'm saying? It's like Knight of Pentacles is about, you know, f really feeling yourself and doing your best and making the effort to be the best version of yourself. And then the Eight of Swords is like, it's keeping to yourself. It's kind of hiding away. It's kind of a self-imposed um, imprisonment almost. So I'm 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 getting the sense that there's these are two different paths that somebody has the option to take, and I'm not sure if it's you or if it's them. I feel like it should be them because this is you know this is about their intentions. But I'm actually feeling like it, this could be you. So, I mean, again, take this however, take this how it, uh, you know, ap applies to you and, and your situation. But I'm getting the sense that someone in this connection has the option to you know, do some work on themselves and 
find happiness within themselves because it feels like, okay, I'm getting that somebody in this equation has relied upon other people for their own happiness. Um, especially like, you know, they're not happy unless they have a partner, okay? Because there's a lack of self-love, right? And it's like they need they need somebody else to love them in order to feel valuable. And it's like, okay, that's I think that's where this imbalance is coming in. It's like because somebody was taking a lot more than they were giving. So whoever that person was who was taking more than they were giving needs to either... I mean, okay, well, so what you need to do is find that self-love, right? And find that independence and learn how to um, be content on your own. And, you know, anything else is just a bonus, right? Or their other option is to be sad about it, basically. And, you know, be lonely and just kind of wallow in that sadness and loneliness. Um... And that's what this is saying. This is like, I feel like your person that you're thinking about is willing to work with you. And like I said, it could be them who has this option, or it could be you who has this choice to make about how you um, proceed. But it's like this person wants to do the work they want to balance things out between you they want to transform this connection into something better into something healthier for both parties um but there's this element of choice here it's like this is what they want but whether or not they will actually take those steps to self-improvement is kind of up to them, you know, it's going to depend on the choices that they make, um, how they go about doing this. And, you know, I think if they take this nine of pentacles route and really, um, work on themselves and, and not just, you know, sit around and kind of feel sorry for themselves, then, then you'll be able to have this full outcome, right? This new beginning, this new start. Um, but if they don't do that work, then that's, that's not going to happen, I don't think. So I want to pull out some of these cards to get a little more information. Let's see. What else can you tell us about this? Because it's like somebody really wants a new start. Somebody really wants to start over. Somebody really wants to... Somebody really wants to be able to have things be balanced and, you know have this relationship be equal but there's also somebody who needs to do some work you know before that can happen and again it could be you or it could be them but who, who needs to do that work but you know we have let go of control issues okay Somebody, whoever it is that was taking a lot more than they were um, giving, I think there, of course, is the issue with self-love. There is the issue with being alone. There could also be an issue with control. Because people who are insecure tend to try to overcompensate for that sometimes. And sometimes they do that by being overly controlling. So, if that's you or them, you know, I mean, you'll know which of you it is, I'm assuming. Um, 
but whoever it is who needs to make that change, it's like, you need to let go of your control issues, basically. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Um, I'm hearing specifically, this is a specific message, it's not going to apply for all of you. Um, but I'm hearing that for some of you, you need to need to stop trying to influence this person. And you're doing it in different ways, you know, for, for, for those of you who this does apply to. You're doing it in different ways, but you need to stop trying to influence this person's decisions um, and just let them do their thing, okay, in their own time. Because the more you kind of stick your nose into what they're doing, the more it's going to push them away. Okay. I feel like I need to pull out one more of these. Yeah, we have codependency. Somebody in this situation was very codependent. Um, and I feel like that is what made this fall apart in the past. Um, and it could even have been that, like, it was something that never even really got started because of this. But somebody is, somebody, um, has codependency issues. And I feel like it's a codependency on other people. Like, this is someone who needs other people, uh, other people's love and approval in order to feel good about themselves. Um, and that's really hard on the people around you, honestly. It is. So... You know, if that's you, then you have this choice to make about whether, you know, are you going to keep, are you going to remain in that codependent energy or are you going to make an effort to find happiness within yourself and love within yourself, okay, so that this new start can happen because, you know, the person that you're asking about wants that, you know, those are their plans, they're planning on trying to achieve that okay and again for some of you this this is your person it's not you but you know and if it if it's your person who is codependent then this is their choice to make um yeah there's there's just a real um real emphasis with this reading on choice okay the power of choice, the importance of choice, and how we can't, we can't completely, 100% accurately always predict what's going to happen, okay? So, group number two, that was your reading. I hope it made sense, and I hope it resonated with you. Um, feel free to let me know your thoughts. I do love to hear from you guys. Also, um, Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you, um, all, of, all of your support. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, thanks again for watching. We're going to move on now to group number three. Bye. Hi, group three. If you chose the fluorite, um, what are your person's intentions for you and your connection? And um, what are their plans and what is the potential outcome for this situation? So I've, like I've been saying for each of the readings today, I'm doing this a little differently. I'm shuffling on camera, which I never do because I think it's very boring to watch. But I feel like I need to do this today for some reason. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so what are your person's intentions? What are their plans for you? got death. I love that card. We have four of swords. We have the ten of cups. Oh, lovely. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, why is death here? Two of 
wands. Why is the four of swords here? We have the devil. Why is two of cups here? We got two cards came out for this one: the six of cups and the six of swords. Two sixes. Interesting. And why is the eight of pentacles here? Queen of swords. All right. And what is the potential outcome of this situation? comment section complaining about the way that I shuffle because I've had that happen before and it's there's no use it's pointless don't do it because I'm not going to change the way I shuffle <laughs> ten of swords interesting can I get a clarifier for that world ah okay i got you all right so um what are your person's intentions for this connection and for you okay so first card that came out was death transformation all right um there is a strong um, I'm getting a, a theme here, if you will, of um, cycles ending, okay, so that new ones can start. So basically what I'm seeing here is that your person that you're thinking about definitely wants a... They want this to change. Whatever's going on between you now, they want it to change. They want it to end, basically. Um, and they've kind of already made that decision with this two of wands here. They know that they, they want things to change between you. And I feel like your person has felt very stuck um, we've got the Four of Swords being clarified by the Devil card. So Four of Swords is about reflection. It's about um, being at rest, kind of like taking time to think something over. And then the Devil card is, you know, it indicates feelings of being stuck, being trapped. So your person, I feel, I feel like this is somebody who um, has a habit of getting very stuck in their head, in their thoughts, and they overthink things. And I feel like that's kind of what's been happening with them in relation to this. But they want that to change. They know they want that to change. And they also, um, they want to come towards you. You've got Six of Swords. This is a movement, okay? And um, for me, this card is like a reconciliation card okay so i feel like they want to reconcile with you they want to um they kind of I'm, I'm hearing that they want things to go back to the way that they were like at the beginning um because it feels like things you know at the start of your relationship you know like when you first got to know each other things were really good and then they kind of went to hell right um, and we also have the Ten of Cups. So this card is about, like, this card is all about family, right? And it's about love and happiness and um, wish fulfillment. So it feels like this person wants to be a family with you, okay? Um, and then with the Six of Cups, this card also kind of, sometimes it makes me think of children. So they could want to have children with you. Um, 
down the road, right? So, also with the Eight of uh, Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, I'm seeing that they want to. They want. They have something they want to tell you. Um, the uh, court cards for the swords are, you know, pretty much all of them make me think of honesty. They, they make me think of, you know, somebody speaking their truth. So I feel like there is something that they want to tell you. And I think it has something to do with, you know, the fact that they want to put work into this connection again. Okay. Um, they really want to, they really want to work on this. They really want to fix this with you. I'm, I'm hearing fix things. Um, and then in this card, we've got this guy with a hammer and nails. Like he's, I know he's closing up this coffin, but you know, you, you also use a hammer and nails to fix things. So it's like, they're not, they're not, um, they're, this person's not afraid of like getting dirty. Um, they really want to, they want to make amends, I think. And, um, definitely they have something that they want to get off their chest that they want to tell you about. So they, they already know that that's what they want. They've already made that decision that they're going to, I think they've already decided that they're going to come towards you and, you know, offer, um, to, to fix this, to reconcile, and they definitely um, intend to be serious, right? Because they want serious stuff out of this relationship. Um, but there's still this, there's some slight uncertainty with these two cards. Um, and before I talk about the outcome cards, I want to pull out some oracle cards for you guys. What else can you tell us about this situation? We've got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, this person I think is very much, um, I'm sensing um, that this is someone who's anxious. This is someone who gets stuck in their head, like I said, and they're, uh, I feel like they're actively taking steps to free themselves of that problem that they have. Okay, that tendency. Yeah. Oh, and we have very soon. All right, guys. Okay. So playfulness. I was talking about how they want things to go back to the way that they were in the beginning, like when you guys were like first started talking or first started hanging out. Um, and that's what this is also talking about. There's um. They want to like recapture that sense of playfulness with you, okay? And they um, they want the energy between you to be light. They want it to be fun. They want it to be happy. You know, they 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 don't like this uh, overthinking stuff, but they just can't help it. But they're trying really hard to to get out of that, to break out of that cycle. Um, and then we also got very soon. So it feels like this person is um, going to be taking these steps towards you um, in the near future. And I said, I just mentioned breaking out of, you know, old cycles, old patterns. For the potential outcome, we have the Ten of Swords and the World card. Both of these cards, again, are about cycles. Ten of Swords, in this position, I think this is saying that your person is going to successfully um, break out of these habits that they have um, of worrying and 
doubting themselves. And, you know, I think they are, um, they're going to end that cycle. They're going to end those tendencies so that a new, a, a new cycle can begin, right? Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to say about this? This one was much quicker than the other two. <laughs> um... I feel like I need to pull out more cards, but I'm not sure which ones. Let's do some more of these. So, I mean, this is definitely someone who has very pure intentions. I mean, I'm serious about that. Um, whoa. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, they want to offer you something like, they want to make you an offer of something really stable. Like they, they don't, they don't want any, um, they don't want anything that's going to be wishy-washy. They want, they want something that they can count on, that both of you can count on. And then we have Justice. This is, um, balancing the scales, right? This is could be an apology for some of you and then we've got oops we've got the wheel of fortune another card about you guessed it cycles um and also movement so this person is moving they are they are making progress towards this goal that they have and um like I said, I think they're going to be putting their plan into action very soon. So I don't think that you guys have very long to wait if you, you know, if you've been waiting on this person to do something. Um, <laughs> they're working. They're working very hard. And like I said, this person feels like they have very pure intentions. This, this person, this person reminds me of a puppy. They just, they're just so loving it feels like and so pure in a way um they have like uh they almost have this kind of like childlike innocence about them um and that but that's not to say that they are naive or childish or anything like that but there is this aspect of them that is just very playful and um very fun and just pure hearted, right? Pure hearted. Um, so that's lovely. I like this person, whoever they are. I like them. Um, and I think that's really all the messages that I've got for you today. So room number three, I hope that's helpful to you. I hope that um, it resonates. Feel free to let me know your thoughts. I love to read your comments, you guys. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time, group three. Bye. All right, group four. If you chose this um, Rambo quartz thing, whatever it is, it's pretty. That's why I bought it. I don't know what it actually is. Um, what are your person's intentions towards you? What are their plans? And what is the like potential outcome of this situation that you're in together okay so i think i'm going to use this deck i'm doing this a little differently i'm shuffling on camera which i never do because i think it's really boring to watch but um i felt like i needed to do it today so that's what i'm doing and um oh wow what Okay, so all three of these cards came out for the uh, reading uh, group three, the one that I just did. So I'm not sure if maybe I... Okay, that one's different.
Ace of Pentacles. Why is the death card here? The Magician. Why is the devil here? Ten of Swords and just get a clarifier for the Fool. Five of Swords and can we get a potential outcome? Arcana's here. Okay. So, what I'm seeing here is that um, we've got more of this theme continuing this theme of cycles which has been going on for i think all of the readings today um but you know what i guess it kind of makes sense because we're in the year 2019 now which you know it's the last year of this decade it's the end of this cycle right um so you know things are changing like on a cosmic kind of scale right um energies are shifting people are shifting you know changing so i guess it makes sense it's just kind of intense you know what i'm saying so first of all we have the eight of pentacles clarified by the ace of pentacles so these two cards ace of pentacles is a new beginning eight of pentacles is the work card right so this is somebody who wants to work towards a new start okay we also have the death card clarified by the magician. So death is about transformation. It's about something ending so that something new can begin. And again, we've got another card that's about something new. The magician is the manifestation card, but it's also about, you know, it's about creating something. Okay. It's about creativity, creation. So this person definitely, um, wants to start something right they want to create something they want to build something here however we also have we also have the devil being clarified by the ten of swords so the devil card is about um feeling trapped and the ten of swords is a really uh, intense card that talks about like heartbreak and suffering and emotional pain and turmoil right so also the devil card can be um this card can indicate addictions um like dependency on various things you know it doesn't have to be actually like substance abuse right could be like codependency um this card also can be about sex Okay, this could this also has like a strong like sexual energy to it, um, but I'm not really feeling that for this particular reading. This feels like this feels like somebody who wants to make you an offer, because for the potential outcome, we've got the Page of Cups, right? So this is somebody making you a love offer, okay? Um. This is somebody who wants to make you an offer, start something new with you. We got the full, we have so many cards here talking about new beginnings. Um, however, we also have the five of swords. This is a card that is about conflict. It's, um, 
this card is kind of this is kind of a self-destructive energy it's an energy of fighting right so it's like this person feels very intelligent possibly in like a manipulative kind of way okay um because we've got all these cards that are saying like you know they want to they want to take steps to starting something with you. They want to make you an offer. They want a new, um, you know, they want a, a, they, they want a, a new beginning. They want, or, or just a beginning in general. You know, maybe this is somebody new in your life or somebody you've never actually been with. Um, but there's this energy of conflict and there's this energy of entrapment. And for the potential outcome, we also have the Ten of Wands, which is something that is burdensome, that is heavy, that is kind of keeping us bound, unable to move, right? Um, I feel like this person... Like I said, feels very intelligent, but they also feel like they could be kind of a kind of a trickster or I'm not sure just how pure this person's intentions are. Let me put it that way. Um, let me pull out a couple oracle cards just to see what they have to add to this. Lack of control issues. This person, I think, is very controlling. They have separation. We have honeymoon. Ah. Pay attention to the red flags. Passion and religious factors. Okay, so, yeah. It's kind of how I, as I suspected, um, I'm not interpreting these cards literally, okay? This is an intuitive read. Um, lack of control issues. This card is saying that this person is controlling, which I am getting from these cards. Um, I feel like there's, okay, the, so there is attraction here, which, you know, goes along with this devil cards, um, the, the more sexual energy of this card. But there's also this card says the signs are cautioning you there's also the honeymoon card which to me is saying that this is somebody who wants to kind of keep you all to themselves right and not exactly in a good way um we also have separation so, I feel like this is saying that um, this person's intentions are to get with you and then kind of control you, basically. It feels like they just, feels like they want to have control over your life and it feels like they want to separate you from other people. It feels like they, they want to, like, isolate you so that they have you, you know under your under their control basically um which is uh not cool um i feel like i should pull out one of these We've got expect powerful change. All right. Um, I think this is kind of a warning that if you allow this person, you know, into your life, like the way that they want to be in your life, it's going to change in a really dramatic way and not for the better. Um, and, and it feels like this person is kind of making headway in you know warming their way in because we've got the energy is gaining momentum 
So it's kind of like, hmm, I don't like this. I don't like this energy at all. It feels, feels slimy, kind of. Um, this is just, I just feel like this person, you know, they, they want to get with you. They want to, they, I feel like they're already making this effort to, you know, get into your life and, and get close to you. And because they want to, you know, they want to have a, um, they want to have a, a new star with you or just a start in general. Um, but it's, it's not because they have good intentions. It's not like, because it's not just because, you know, they, they love you. I mean, they might love you, but that doesn't mean that you should let them into your life. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, just because somebody loves you doesn't mean that they have good intentions for you. Right. So, um, yeah, it, it just, it feels, it feels like if, if you were to get involved with this person, like romantically, it would end badly. It would be really difficult. It would be like confining. You would be trapped by it. It would be a burden for you. And it feels like you would end up just kind of being removed from things that you actually care about. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I feel like the cards are suggesting that you kind of distance yourself from this person as much as you possibly can. Okay, group four. Um, that's really all the messages that I'm getting for you. I'm sorry that it uh, turned out this way, but you know, like I said um, before, I don't, I can't control what the cards say. It's just, it's just my job to tell you what they tell me. So um, that's your reading group number four. I hope that it resonated with you. Feel free to leave me a comment and let you know, let me know what you thought. And um, I really appreciate uh, you watching. Thank you so much, and I hope I see you next time. Bye, Group 4! Hi, Group 5! So, if you chose the Rose Quartz, what are your person's intentions? What are they planning to do um, in regards to your connection? And what is the potential outcome? So, I'm doing this differently. I'm shuffling on camera today because I feel like I just need to. Um... Also, oh, okay. So, I don't know what I was just about to say. I lost it. Um, got Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. There's people downstairs talking like really loudly, and it's very distracting. But I'm gonna do my best to um, just push through. We're on the last reading. So, why is the Nine of Cups here? We've got Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Someone has a lot of anxiety. Why is the Ace of Swords here? see any comments about the way that I shuffle because there's no point. Everybody has their own way of doing things. And um, cards come flying out because that's what the deck wants to say. All right. We've got Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and can we get a potential outcome please? Seven of Wands. Can I get a clarifier for that? Oops. Whoa. I'm in the floor. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. 
so what are your person's intentions? What are they planning? What are they planning? Okay. So basically, I think this person is planning on making you an offer. Okay, I've got Ace of Cups. However, they have a lot of anxiety about it. They're kind of staying up at night, thinking about it, worrying about it. But, like, they want to do this because they feel really good about you. You're kind of like a dream come true, you know what I'm saying? You're like their wish, right? You're what they've always wanted. Um, and I think this, there's, there's definitely communication coming. Because we have the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Both of these cards are about communication, especially the Eight of Wands. But the Ace of Swords is, um, this card talks about truth, right? Clarity. So um, I definitely think that this person is planning to contact you with, you know, their truth, right? Um, they're probably going to tell you, like, hey, this is what I think about you. This is what I feel about you, and this is what I want. The the wands is um it's a very passionate energy, very energetic. Um, but swords is much more level headed. It's very rational. So, you know, I feel like this person has a lot of feelings for you, right? They have a lot of emotions for you and they have a lot of passion for you. But I feel like this is somebody who communicates in a way that is you know, where they're, they're like not all in their feelings. You know what I'm saying? They're very rational about the way they communicate. Also, we've got, <laughs> we've got the Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Pentacles. So definitely this person absolutely intends to make you an offer. Okay. And the offer that they want to make you is definitely, um, one of stability so it could be like I'm feeling I'm hearing for some of you guys that I'm hearing for some of you this person like actually like wants to propose to you <laughs> okay um because for a lot of you guys this feels like more than just do you want to go out on a date or do you want to get together or whatever this feels like something actually major okay like really major um and then we've also got the um, Knight of Cups and the Two of Wands. So Two of Wands, this is about a decision. They've, um, I feel like they, uh, they've already made this choice, okay, to approach you with this offer that they want to give. Um, and now I feel like they're just waiting for the right time, okay. So... That's pretty straightforward, you guys. Um, I feel like I feel like this person is um, someone who's very rational, very level-headed, but they have a, I mean they still ha they have a lot of f feelings inside of them. And um, it's kind of like, I almost get the sense that they're worrying about this for nothing. It's because it's like they kind of already know what you'll say, but they're worried about it anyway. Um, but but like I, it feels like they've been planning this. They've been planning to ask you about this for a, a while now. And like I said, they're just waiting for the right time. Um... And for the outcome, we have the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So both of these cards are giving me, they're giving me similar vibes. So they're both giving me feelings of perseverance and a lot of like blood, sweat, and tears kind of thing. So it's like, I think that, like I said, I feel like for a lot of you, this person wants to propose to you. OK, um, but for the outcome, it's like this is saying that if it's going to work long term, um, there's going to have to be a lot of compromise. There's going to have to be a lot of seriousness 
Okay, you're going to have to be very, you're going to have to be serious about it, right? Um, you're going to have to put work into it. You know, it's not going to be easy. I'm, I'm definitely seeing that. It's not going to be easy. But I feel like, you know, your hard work and your perseverance will pay off in the end. Um, I just want to pull some Oracle cards for you guys. This one was like really straightforward and much shorter than the others. We have children. We have, let's see what else we have. Oops. We have expressed your love. We have true love. Okay, I think that's it. So, yeah. I mean, this has the potential to be the relationship of a lifetime. You just have to be willing to put that work in. Also, this person definitely is planning on expressing themselves to you you know, however this applies. And also, like I said, this is going to be like a serious offer. Like it's not just going to be asking you out on a date. It's not just going to be like, do you want to be a thing? Do you want to be an item? This is going to be, do you want to get married? This is going to be, do you want to have kids? Something like that. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, group number five, that's really all the messages I'm getting for you. This one was really, really quick um, and very straightforward, and I hope that it resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think about this reading. Also, just want to remind you again that um, all of my readings are 30% off through February 14th, 2019, so make sure you grab one up before the sale ends. Um, I do finally have some feedback on the, on my Etsy store, so you can check that out, see what other people are saying about, you know, their uh, readings that they've purchased from me, and yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you, and um, I hope I see you next time. Bye!